Good afternoon. I'm Matthew Delgado with your NWI.com afternoon update for Tuesday, January 31st. A 55-year-old Hobart man was killed Monday night after becoming wedged between two rail cars while working at U.S. Steel's Gary Works. Michael M. Shoemaker was pronounced dead at 7.15 p.m. at the scene, according to P.J. Adams, spokesman for the Lake County Coroner's Office. The cause of death was listed as blunt force trauma suffered in an industrial accident. U.S. Steel Gary Work Security, Safety Department, and the Indiana Occupational Safety and Health Administration are investigating. Highland Police shot and killed a 27-year-old Highland man Tuesday during a violent domestic disturbance at his apartment. According to Lake County Coroner Spokesman P.J. Adams, Joshua Jones of the 2000 block of Port de Luc Court was pronounced dead at 1.32 a.m. in the emergency room of the community hospital in Munster. Jones became violent during the investigation and attacked the two responding officers. One of the officers attempted to taser Jones twice, but was not effective. It is protocol for state police to investigate police-related shootings. Both officers are on paid administrative leave during the investigation per Highland Police policy. Republican, Re Republican Representative Dan Burton says he won't seek re-election to a 16th term. Burton told members of the Indiana House on Tuesday that he'll serve out his term, but not run again. The 73-year-old didn't elaborate on his decision during his brief address to lawmakers. Burton narrowly survived tough GOP primary battles in his past two campaigns. He, has, he was elected to his 15th term in November 2010. Be sure to check out Wednesday's editions of The Times for results of Tuesday's Florida GOP presidential primary and read more about these stories and get the latest news updates by visiting NWI.com and following us on Twitter and Facebook. I'm Matthew Delgado. Have a great day.